I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is the regular meeting of the Leonard Village Council. Today is October 10th, 2022. Allow me to welcome everybody. Um, wish you a happy Columbus Day or Amazon Day, whatever you prefer, <laughs> um, in this uh, new uh, world we live in. Um, ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would any council member care to make the invocation? Hearing none, thank you, Lord, for let, allowing us to meet in this free society and represent ourselves in our community. Um, Help us to make good decisions tonight. Okay. Okay. Um, can we have a roll call for attendance of the Village Council? President McDonald? Here. Trustee Kennedy? Here. Trustee Arendelle? She's excused. Trustee Swack? Here. Trustee Hawkins. He's excused. Okay. Um, note for the record that both Clerk Lori Zelenock and Treasurer uh, Judy Verse are present. The council received belatedly today in your packet the uh, correct minutes for the September 12th meeting. We had some kind of snafu, and we had, I think we sent out the August uh, minutes in the agenda uh, packet. So we find the correct, the correct uh, minutes on your desk, or uh, in front of you anyways. I will make a motion to accept the minutes from September 12th as written. I second. Okay, we have a motion by Trustee Swack, second by Trustee Kennedy. Any questions on the motion? If none, all in favor of the approval of the minutes of September 12, 2022, as submitted, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no. Okay, moving on. Council has before it uh, an agenda for this evening. Uh, again, I have to make a couple of changes. It shows under new, new business uh, Oxford Cable TV. That was an inadvertent carryover from last month. Um, item number one under new business tonight will be the local fiscal recovery agreement between Oakland County and Village of Leonard. And also the decorating committee has asked for an expense approval for um, the upcoming holidays. So those are the only changes. Are there any other changes to the agenda proposed? Hearing none. I'd like to make a motion we ex uh, accept the agenda as amended. I will second that. Motion by Trustee Kennedy, second by Trustee Swack to approve the agenda as amended. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no. Motion carried. Council has before it the treasurer's report for the month of September. Are there any questions, changes, or corrections? If none, a motion to receive and file the report would be in order. I will make a motion to receive and file the treasurer's report as provided. I'll second. There's a motion by Trustee Swack, support by or second by Trustee Kennedy, to uh, receive and file the approved treasurer's report. All in favor? Oh, that should be a roll call, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, Kennedy. Yes. Swack. Yes. McDonald. Yes. Motion carried. Moving on to the accounts payable. Council has the uh, bills for September. 
Are there any questions, changes, corrections? If none, a motion to pay the bills would be in order. I'd like to make a motion that we pay the bills in the amount of $19,594.17 for general, $29,302.40 for major, $0 for local, and $675 for Mill Park Recreation. I will second that. We have a motion by Trustee Kennedy, a second by Trustee Swack to pay the bills in the amount stated. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, could we have a roll call for approving payment of those bills? McDonald? Yes. Swack? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Okay, motion carried. The next item on our agenda is the uh, public comment. We ask that you be brief and to the point, have an initial three minutes. Are there any, anybody care to address the village council? Yes. Um, I'm sure you know about the garbage this past week. I sent the video. <clears throat> um, I didn't get to get yours. They threw both of yours into the thing too. Did you um, video that as well? What? Did you video that? No. Because the, neither video showed the the um, recyclables being he, thrown. I couldn't get the recyclables going in because they were so fast. They were just throwing everything in the truck. Okay. He was picking up the recyclables that he dropped and throwing them in the truck. And I tried to get down here to get, because yours was the next recycle bin, <clears throat> and I couldn't get down here fast enough. I, mm -hmm. I have a bad and I couldn't run. <clears throat> but in, in further... Checking on this, a lot of people were coming back and saying on, on our post that one out of five trucks are the only trucks that go to the recycle because Michigan does not have enough recycle centers. So in turn, I contacted a friend of ours who's a supervisor for GFL. He rides out here every once in a while on these trucks. He doesn't work the garbage, but he's a supervisor. And I asked him, I don't usually talk to him about garbage because that's work he stated that these people are right there was two or three people that said on that comment that they have people that work over there and they can they know this is happening and this guy said he hates to say it but it's right so do we should we investigate this after paying all this money for recycle and us washing all our stuff out and and everything and then I mean, I almost cried when they threw all that stuff in the in the garbage truck, and it wasn't the divided truck. It was just the one thing. And everybody's recycle, this whole place, went in that truck. I saw also, I don't think it was this past week, but the week before, um, they threw the recycling, I was shocked, they threw the recycling in with the trash, yep. and then the recycle truck came later, and there was no recycling hmm. to pick up. So, so you know, when was that? Do you know the day? This past week, but the week before. Okay. The recycle truck was out here Tuesday, the divided truck. I followed it into town when I came home. It was here. Yeah, but then our, our garbage truck came through, and it was just the plane truck, and he threw everything in there. We can try the video tomorrow because it's okay. trash day. Mm -hmm. But anyways, being as we pay extra money for this, and it's costing us money to wash everything out and do everything, and they're, it's just going to the dump? Should we check I, into this further? Anybody else have anything to say? Besides these? Oh, we should call Channel 4 or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to go over it later in my report, but since the topic is here, um, I have sent a email inquiry to uh, Green for Life and to Sunrise Waste Management who manage our waste with those very points that we're not inclined to continue paying if we're not going to get the service. So I asked them to respond with either an alternative or an explanation to what occurred or, and or why it occurred. Why, why maybe this was an employee thing where he just Got the wrong message, did it, whatever, I don't know. But I didn't ask any, didn't give any leading questions. I just said I need a response, and I have not received it yet. So I will keep the, everybody informed. 
as soon as I do. Are there alternatives we can use to ha having the recycling being picked up by a truck? I mean, is it possible they drop off or like a recycled trailer and we could put the recyclables in a trailer? Our, our past experience was uh, we did have uh, a recycling spot by the DPW. It was a fenced area with recyclable buckets, but after people learned it was there, the day after, it was mostly not village residents were coming and dumping garbage and recyclables. And we, we, we fought the good fight with the fencing and signage, and we ended up going with the curbside recycling just because it was impractical. So we don't have a full-time DPW or somebody to watch what's going on, so it, it just got really out of hand. Sure. But, but I will certainly, based on the response that we get, I will bring it back to the council, and then, of course, it's up to the village council whether we want to continue with the recycling program if it's, uh, if it's not cost-effective or, or Isn't the first being time managed this. correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just wish we could find out if are there how many recycled places are there? I mean, they're saying they're picking up the recycles in the recycle truck, but these people that work there are telling us different, that if we don't have enough recycle places to drop it off, this doesn't deal with And that's, no. Well, we'll, we'll, we're, we'll see, what, see what our company has to say first. Do you know the price difference? Do you know how much we're paying yeah. for recycling? No, the extra price on it, I don't know what the extra price is. No, we, we, we always bid it as a package, mm -hmm. so that's... two different companies, right? Pardon? It's two different companies, so Sunrise does garbage and GFL does recycling. Sunrise manage the contract and are the point of contact for village residents. GFL is the carrier that, that, that um, Sunrise Waste Services Contracts. contracted Contracts. with for the village. So, so um, they're both involved. Yes, and, and, I, and I do not have any direct connection to GFL. I strictly work through waste, waste services, and they're the ones that are looking into the matter, just like they did last time. So. Well, one comment would be, it's always the right thing to do to recycle. When they're not downstream, they're violating their contract or just common practices, uh, they should be called out and we should continue to recycle. But if it's going right into the dump, it, there... Well, this isn't the place, I'm, this isn't the place where we debate that. Right, there, I'm just this. saying we should. I, I will recycle, but if they're going to throw it right in the dump. Well, let's say, like you said, maybe it's two or five. Well, we're going to get there where it's going to be five or five. It's I so, so. You just got to go with the positive instead of... <laughs> okay. Is there any more comments? Hearing none, we'll move on to new business then. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the local fiscal recovery agreement between Oakland County and the Village of Leonard. I informed the council last month that we had been awarded $11,500 um, for use for basically clean water. It's clean water study, which is our sewer study. Um, so they sent the agreement. Uh, so I just would ask the council to authorize the village president to enter into the intergovernmental agreement with Oakland County for the critical infrastructure project, Leonard Sewer Study. The agreement for local fiscal recovery fund distribution between Oakland County and the village of Leonard for the amount of $11,500 <clears throat> towards the cost of the sewer study being performed by Roe Professional Services at no less than $24,500. So if there would be a motion to that effect and a second, we can yes, take care. I will make a motion to allow the president, village president to enter an agreement with, is it the county? Yes. Yeah. To access funds from the fiscal recovery fund distribution okay. agreement. That would be the motion up here. Oh, okay. All right. The Village of Leonard authorizes the Village President to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Oakland County for the Critical Infrastructure Project Leonard Sewer Study. The agreement 
for local fiscal recovery fund distribution between Oakland County and the Village of Leonard for the amount of $11,500 toward the cost of the sewer study being performed by Rural Professional Services at no less than $24,500. We'll second. Thank you. No more than $24,000? That's the cost of the... Uh, no less than. No the, the no less is that we have to pay at least that much in order to qualify for the $11,500. Okay, we have a motion by Trustee Swack and a second by Trustee Kennedy. Can we have a roll call vote on that, please? Sure. Swack? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. McDonald? Yes. We'll show that uh, there were no nays and two absent on that motion. Okay, thank you for that. Um, moving on then to the second item, which was the decorating uh, committee expense request. Um, unfortunately, Trustee Arendale could not make it this evening, um, but she did send along uh, a written request. Um, the first is in regards to the sewer update, which we could handle later, but. They have a meeting this Wednesday at 5.30 to review the next steps with Roe Professional Services. And then regarding the decorating committee, uh, they plan on decorating for the holidays on November 27th at noon. <clears throat> we would like to request DPW have the holiday banners up by uh, November 27th. Uh, for decorating this year, they're requesting to be authorized $500. Uh, the prices of items have increased and they're looking at purchasing some artificial greens that they can use over the next couple of years to help reduce costs in uh, decorating. Um, that's pretty much covers the expenditure side. So the request is to authorize $500 from the decorating committee funds uh, for that purpose. I'll make a motion to authorize $500 from the decorating fund for preparations for the 2022 holiday season. We have a second by Trustee Swack. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, could we have a roll call, please? McDonald? Yes. Swack? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Motion carried. All right, moving on to uh, old business. Um, as you heard, uh, under the sewer study, the update. Can I interrupt you a minute? Can I stop you? have a problem with the planners at the mill. You've got to have seen them. They've fallen apart. Yeah, so why are they still there? Because I haven't gotten them out of there. I'll get, I'll get them, Cindy. I, I'm, I, be, I worked last weekend trying to. I'm sorry. To... I understand the situation. Yeah. It's not your job. Do well, we have a DPW or not? We do. I don't know. Well, we do. And it's more in name only. We just haven't got the number of available hours. Um, but I do have a couple of volunteers that I'm sure will help me with it. It just looks terrible. But thank you for bringing it up. You could you could have brought that up at DPW, unless you're not staying. Oh, I'm staying. You should know better than that. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, so uh, sewer study, they have a meeting uh, this Wednesday. Uh, this, the uh, Citizens Committee is going to meet with Roe at, at, here at Roland Hall uh, at 5.30. So uh, that's really all I have at this point in time. Uh, item number two, the marijuana ballot update. Uh, there's been no, uh, we had several FOIA requests, but there's been no more um, official actions, you know, no, no further lawsuits or anything like that. Uh, Nature Park planning update. There is nothing going on there right now. Um, I just have not been able to put together a package to, to take to someone to say, here's what we want. Um, and find a local source uh, to find it. Um, I was informed by, 
Paul O'Meara, who is our row representative, that he's had his health has been giving him trouble and he hasn't been able to put in as many hours, <clears throat> which is one of the reasons why it's been hard to get the sewer study started back up. And uh, I did tell him that we were going to look elsewhere if we couldn't come to some kind of agreement with them. So that's kind of where things are right now with that. Um, property maintenance and enforcement. Um, we had previously, previously sent letters for 4440 West Street and for 40, uh, 4385 Forest Street. Is that it? 4285? 42 yeah, 4285. Um, so um, neither have responded. So I'm going to take the next step of having tickets issued, uh, municipal infraction tickets, and uh, hopefully that'll, I don't expect a response from the uh, 4285, but the other property has several other issues going on, so uh, we'll see what happens. Um, DPW update, um, we're getting, we have to order salt and other salt patching compound and chlorided sand in, in, in preparation for winter. Um, we did get the reminder from the Road Commission asking us what we are going to want. And they also informed us that salt will be $76.39 a ton. So we'll have to make a decision, Judy, on how much we ordered last year, which we ended up, I don't, I think we ended up pretty close to even, I'm not sure. We Last year we ordered 100 ton. We were what? 100 ton. 100 ton. Yeah, didn't we order 80 and then we had up to up to 100 out of that? And I think we bought it at $80 a ton or something like something that. Something like that. I I'd have to go back and look at the record, but. If I remember. We, we, did, we didn't get a, there was no extra charge over, so, so obviously we hit our quota, whatever it was. Yeah. So. I anticipate doing the same thing, same order again this year. Okay, uh, and we will get the mill uh, flower pots either fixed or removed one way or the other. Um, President's report, uh, we had a four FOIA requests this month. Uh, two were for registered voters lists and two were for marijuana proposal petition list and the ordinance that were um, submitted for the uh, marijuana proposal in the village of Leonard on the November ballot. Um, CDBG, um, we had no applications uh, for the uh, minor home repair program. Ordinance enforcement, um, I did receive an email regarding uh, the combined stream of uh, waste materials, which I forwarded to our representative. It's not technically an ordinance, in viol viol in ordinance enforcement, it's more like a contract yes. um, violation. So we'll see what, uh, where that takes us. And then um, drain maintenance. Um, the Water Resources Commission did come out. They were actually out in the village three days. Two of the days were spent uh, cleaning catch basins um, out of uh, approximately 35 catch basins to 30, I think with 37. I'm, st I'm still discovering catch basins. Every time I go out, I find a new one. But we got 29 done, which left us about seven or eight, mainly on South Rochester Road uh, left to finish and uh, we can probably catch those maybe in the next budget year in the spring or whatever um, Try and get those done as a priority uh, We did a good job the, the drains were generally in good shape. However Down at the school we tried to find evidence of a drain that may have gone south and we were told that there was one and We were unable to find it we cleaned out the catch basins and there's no evidence that there was ever a pipe or anything that went hmm. south underneath um, Forest Street. So that's gonna be a question for us to have to decide how we're gonna address that. And that will cost us money because there's the engineering companies aren't gonna come and say, well, I think if you throw a 
line here or a pump here. I'm, I'm thinking maybe a lift pump to move the water into the existing drain that runs to the west from where you are, Alex, like your corner. That's a, that's a potential solution, but it would require power. Huh? Is that like a sump pump? Yeah, it would be a, kind of a, a heavy-duty trash it. pump, an electric pump. It would be an expensive installation, but I'm not sure there's an alternative to that. It might be cheaper than digging up rows, though, and adding yeah. culverts. Well, it was $40,000 to put an underground, underground uh, pipe in, six-inch pipe, going to the east. So... Um, We'd certainly have to probably be looking at an open excavation type situation rather than a underground just because of the expense. But that will be our next, uh, our next project um, when we have a chance. And uh, finally, under the, my report, uh, we did receive notification from the county that the, um, it's not called the gypsy moth anymore, but the Gypsy Moth uh, Fund is there for communities in Oakland County. They're doing a 50-50 match up to uh, their part being 30,000. So you'd have to, your program could reach 60,000 or more. Um, I didn't know, we've never done it. And according, from what I've heard, most of the infestations in Addison Township were on the west side, more towards Oxford and around Lakeville Lake. So it's, we can roll the dice and see what happens, or we could be proactive, but it would be expensive. I imagine it would be quite expensive. I can't remember what the cost per acre was in Addison, but uh, it was significant. Several hundred dollars um, for acreage parcels. So just wonder. Is anybody complaining about it? We haven't had any complaints. We have had a few. We did have a few on the northern border. Um, mm -hmm. From yeah, um, but nothing like but nothing, nothing like we've had in the past years. So I think it was probably back in the '90s was the last time we had a a big infestation of them. So I just I'm bringing it forward just in case it does come up. Uh, we we could potentially address it that way. Okay. Um, for the trustee and committee reports, uh, Summer Festival Committee, I think that's been pretty inactive. Uh, Kyle Stapp, the chairman, was up and removed the um, schools from the annex so that the fire department can have the uh, Halloween party. And uh, that's basically all I've seen or heard. John's not here for the cable commission but we heard from them last month anyway. The decorating committee, uh, I just wanted to say the fall decorations look great. I saw that the mums were in the, the mums and the scarecrows and everything are in the planners. And well, we're trying not to I overspend also. If flowers are there and they look good, we'll leave them. But we have, it, I think it, I just want to make sure you know that it's appreciated, yeah. Um, Nota, the uh, parking lot and the fuel, uh, um, construction project are probably going to be pushed back to next year. Uh, the Oxford Planning Commission has been um, raising some questions, et cetera, that are taking time to resolve. So um, it was decided that they probably can't uh, get that work done this year. Um, planning Commission, um, do we need to meet? We don't have anything, I don't think. Okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to cancel the October regular planning commission meeting. I will make a motion to cancel the regular October planning commission meeting. I'll second it. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor of canceling the regular October planning commission meeting, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, please say no. Okay, motion carried and the meeting's canceled. Pollyann Trail, um, now's a good time to get out on the trail. The fall colors are out. I think they're gonna peak pretty soon. Um, there's a lot of green, but it seems to be happening. They're turning really fast. Um, and there's going to be a cleanup. The trail 
uh, volunteers uh, are going to be in the in the village uh, cleaning up trees along the trail, which means generally pushing back some of the small trees and maybe big ones, as well as just trying to widen the green space adjacent to the trails. That that'll be happening in the next few weeks. So. And let's see, the Village Park, um, I don't have anything new there. Uh, we did get over there and Trim took down a dead uh, pine tree and cleaned up the burn pile in front and reseeded it. So I think any future burning will happen on the other side of the swamp, so to speak. And then finally, um, we did learn, uh, thanks to Judy, that uh, the new Oakland County uh, counting system is, has not re generated uh, block grant reports yet. They're still trying to figure that out. So our, our account remains the same. I don't remember offhand. I think the balance is around eight or $9,000 for the minor home repair program. I could be mistaken, but it's several thousands anyway. And one final thing. Um, Jennifer asked, in addition, and I shouldn't back up, I'm going to, they'd like uh, December 4th, we'll have a meeting in November, assumedly, but December 4th from 4 to 7 p.m. is when they're going to have the uh, tree lighting, and this, they'd like the streets closed from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, I would assume that means East Elmwood Street, at least this portion of it. So do we want to wait until November? Or do we want to take care of that now? So, okay. Well, that way we can publish notice faster yeah. Yeah. or twice, maybe. So the events from, from uh, 4 to 7. 4 to 7, Santa's supposed to arrive at 5. They will have vendors, yeah. and uh, are they, they're going to have a food truck, um, and they're going to have music makers and gingerbread house contest. Yeah. So, so is, is there- Is that Santa Chris? Pardon? Is it Santa Chris? The appropriate Santa, it, I It would. doesn't say, I don't know. He looks so good. Yeah, well, but the last time she checked, he was busy. I don't know if she know. could That's, arrange time. It's Sunday now. because it worked for him. Okay. Um, Okay, so then do we have a motion then to authorize the close? I'll make a motion to authorize the closure of the streets from 3 to 8 on December 4th, which is a Sunday for the tree lighting events. Okay, is there a second for that motion? I'll second. Thank you. So we have a motion by Trustee Swack, second by Trustee Kennedy to authorize street closure of East Elmwood from 3 to 8 p.m. on December 4th. Um, and the closure would be from Forest Street to Division Street. Sound right? Correct. Okay. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none, can we have a, all in favor of the motion to close the street as stated, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, please say no. Okay, the motion carried. And that is all I have, folks. I'd like to make a motion we adjourn. Oh, now he speaks up. I'll second, <laughs> I'll second thank, that. Thank you, Alex. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Seven thirty-five. It's only me. Yeah. All in favor of the motion to adjourn? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <laughs>